don't know if anyone's seen that it's in the back of my last videos, but for 39 years I haven't had a pickled egg. And then I've made them myself and they are absolutely delicious. I've really got to hold myself back from eating them all. You meant to let them mast for a week and I made these the other day, both of them within like a day of each other. And uh, well, as you can see, one of them's half gone. So I thought I'd do a video today on how I've made them, how easy it is, how delicious they are and what ingredients you can put in. Well, what ingredients I'm putting in. You can put any ingredients in that you want, but these are my ingredients today. So I'd done the eggs last night and it was so late. I just left them in the fridge, peeled them this morning. Done my red onion this morning and this is the herbs and spices I've got in. So I've got pepper, salt, sugar, mustard seed and chilli flakes. I'm also going to be using dark soy sauce. You can use light if you want. There's about two tablespoons of each in here. Also what I must stress is if you're going to use a jar fill the jar with hot water out of your kitchen tap make sure it's nice and clean fill it with hot water your jar's hot the water's hot inside and um, just so when you're transferring the vinegar into your jar it's not going to crack your jar because your jar's already hot so again what you need is eggs red onion salt pepper sugar mustard seeds chili soy sauce white vinegar that's what I'm using I could imagine you could use brown vinegar but I'm going with white today because that's what I've got on hand not enough but I need more so let's get started so in a pan you're going to have your white vinegar I'm going to put your soy sauce in as much as you like it doesn't really matter and you're going to put your ingredients in and what you're going to do is you're going to let that all get nice and hot warm up and let all the ingredients just marinate into each other while that's heating up what you want to do is you want to start you want to empty your jar now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reuse this water in my washing machine i'm just going to pour it in make sure all of the um soap is going down the washing machine so it doesn't go to waste pour this out of your jar and then you're going to start layering your eggs and your onions One thing you do want to make sure is all the shell is off the egg. I don't know if anyone's like me, but if I get a little bit of egg, not egg, shell on the egg, it puts me off that particular food for a very long time, could be years. So just make sure you've got all of the shell off the egg. And you want to make sure that you pack them all in. Um, just so it's sort of like just under the rim so you can fill it right up. And then you just want to pour it all in the jar. Now my jar's still warm, so I'm not concerned about the cracking or anything like that. And it really doesn't take that much fluid to fill the jar once everything's in there. Fill it right at the top and then leave it for a week if you can. Avoid temptation. And after a week that would be absolutely delicious. I'll leave the ingredients in the comments because sometimes I do forget to leave them out. But they're in the comments if anyone wants to copy this. <laughs> 